Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and right now I want to show you the best project settings you can have for DaVinci. So let's go! First, you can find your project settings here, down below on the right side, or go to File and Project Settings, or press Shift and 9. When we are here, what we want to look up to. So first we got a video format. When you click on it, you get plenty of video formats to choose from. Uh, I recommend go with the HD 1008p and the number after that is FPS. You need to choose carefully now because if you go for example 60 FPS, that's in what way games are uh, doing. For example, let's say when you want to record uh, Apex Legends or, I don't know, Spider-Man game, most of they are in a 60 FPS. When I record myself like this, it's in a 30 FPS. When I'm outside and I'm recording nature, I go around 24 FPS. Timeline resolution, go 1900. You see bigger resolution because uh, also this program is used by filmmakers and by really hardcore editors so I recommend this is just basic one for the most people are using 1900 and now playback frame rate you can choose it by video format so when I choose video format to 60 playback frame rate will change to 60 so I will go for 30 now or 2997 and that's about it also what I recommend when you scroll down in the master settings in the working folders you want to have your uh, folder in which you're working to be different than where you have your system let's say that you have a Windows 10 and it's on your driver C so you want to have all your data all your work folders from uh, DaVinci in a data F in a driver F why is that only because uh, when you're rendering stuff and you're working on something and then you start rendering it's much better to have it on a different driver and now save when we go i want to show you something else when you click on the davinci resolve go on the keyboard customization this is pretty important for your projects for the future project try to uh, change your keybinds to your liking don't just use what the people are using because for example i was working in sony vegas and for me it's much better to have a blade on s than on b because right now when i want to cut something i will just go like here here a move a move and now i will go backspace this is just one example of how you can use it and the, okay hello and this is just one of the examples how you can actually use it so yep Oh, the last thing I want to show you. When you have PC, like this is for the who are using PC, go on optimized media and render catch and change it to DNA HR to this one. Only because uh, I read on a Reddit or it was some kind of forum that this is much better than uncompressed. So if you're on PC, use that. All right. And it's about it. Thank you all guys and see ya.